Yes, sorry, uh, thank you for a very interesting and thought-provoking lecture. Could you say briefly a few words about the importance of mathematics? I know you skipped that section. <laughs> I'm, I'm interested in what you had to say about that. Yeah, well, it's, it's of course a, 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 a big puzzle that mathematics turns out to be so extraordinarily powerful in explaining physics that we have all these examples of uh, like Einstein's general relativity or Schrodinger's wave equation where just the, the mathematical beauty seemed to give the key to truth and, and that, that mathematics actually was the tool of this mathematical beauty was the tool of discovery of the laws of nature that somehow worked beautifully in physics. It didn't, doesn't seem to work in biology. So that is the question, why doesn't it work in biology? And I can't answer that either. But that, that was what it's about. And, and the fact is that mathematics is useful for biology only in a very humble way. It is just essentially computer science organizing of databases and, and uh, making simulations of, of, of complicated systems mathematics can do, but it's used as a, as a humble tool, not really as, as a creator for insight. And so there seems to be a, a, some kind of a, a, a real difference between physics and biology in that respect. And, but of course, we always hope that mathematics will, in the end, turn out to give some deep insights, and particularly into the way the brain works. <laughs>